afternoon, you two pipe smokers. On the way home from work. You know, we went from 100 degrees on Sunday. Hot. I never felt the sun that hot in my life. I have a pool, I was in the pool, and the sun on the shoulders was unbelievable. You, you can feel it burning the skin. I never felt that before. Anyway, now today, I wake up at 72 degrees, but still felt very warm for 72. I guess perhaps it was humid. Now the temperature dropped to 69. It's going down to 61 tonight. So in a matter of uh, less than 24 hours, we lost over 30 degrees. But now, of course, it's rainy. Very interesting. I see Eric the Blue Collar Piper is having a grand old time with that Facebook, uh, not the Facebook, um, with that app about making people old. <laughs> Before our time. We'll get there soon enough, and he has to push it. Anyway, it's all in good fun. But this is a welcome relief, this weather. I'm not a big fan of rain, but... Although by next weekend, it's going to be 90 degrees again. It's going to be a little drier and cooler the next few days. I know it is summer, but... Even our two dogs wanted to go in the pool yesterday. Which they did. I don't know how people do it without air conditioning, boy, I tell you. I really don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm one of those cold weather people anyway. I like it cold, cool. I actually prefer winter over summer myself. talk about uh, Todgers and pipe smoking. You know, something came to mind. That apparently, as we know, a lot of famous people smoke pipes. Frank Sinatra and uh, Bing Crosby and Clock Gable and etc. You know, I happen to be a very big Frank Sinatra fan. And it's interesting, in the later years, you don't see him with a pipe. Now, typically, once you're a pipe smoker, you never stop. So, I find that interesting. I wonder... If you suppose that... He smoked a pipe for advertising purposes? Or was it just a trendy thing to do and he jumped on the bandwagon and became a pipe smoker? Even uh, Hugh Hefner, which was a pipe smoker also, I don't think in his later years he smoked a pipe, but maybe I'm wrong about that. So I wonder if early on, if um, even they got caught up in the tobacco's bad for you and, and gave it up.
But you know, another interesting observation, and uh, Simon touched on it the other night in his live feed, but and somebody said in his live feed promoting pipe smoking, and Simon said, I really don't want to promote pipe smoking for people. Because he didn't like that word, promote pipe smoking. But then I, I chimed in, I didn't see the whole feed, I, I was towards the tail end. And so, you know, it's all well and good for government to want to keep us healthy, I guess. But where I, I have a problem is they seem to pick and choose. So tobacco seems to be on uh, attack, yet sugar, which is probably a bigger offender of bad health, causing bad health, than tobacco, because everybody is eating sugar, whether they know it or not in all our foods. And yet, and, and all the preservatives and all the other bad stuff that's in food. Yet they choose to attack tobacco. Now granted, I know, I have, a, I know I, uh, cigarette smoking is 100% no good for you. And I'm sure any form of tobacco, even in a pipe, has its risks. But, I consider myself a recreational type of smoker. Uh, I smoke cigars and I smoke pipes, neither of which I have inhaled. I know you do get some smoke, obviously, goes into your system. But to me, it's a trade-off. It's an enjoyment factor. And it's real tobacco. It's not chemically induced with anything like cigarettes are. You know, I'm all for all the warning labels and to inform people, but I gotta say, I don't think there's anybody that's smoking any type of tobacco product that doesn't realize there's some risk involved. Basically, anytime you open your mouth and put something in it, you're at risk of getting something. So I'm in New York, and when we had the mayor Bloomberg, he wanted to, uh, he was after soda with sugar. And he wanted to put some ridiculous uh, taxes on it. And in my opinion, tax is not the answer. I would rather a warning label that says, do you realize that this, this bottle of soda contains five tablespoons of sugar, and this can help lead to diabetes or something like that. Inform the people and let them make a, uh, an educated choice. You know, it's like that, I go back to that uh, suit company, Cy Sims, I think it was. An educated consumer is our best customer. And that's, everything has a risk versus reward.
but it should be the individual's choice. Just educate the people on the subject and don't shove something down their throat. Because then we're not a free society if you do that. So if you're going to do, take a stance like the government trying to do, then you know you got to cover all the bases and be across the board. Get after all the food manufacturers, the drug companies that put, I mean there's a big controversy with uh, vaccinations that have tamarisol in it, which is a uh, form of mercury as a preservative. And there's some argument to say that leads to autism and stuff like that. You know, why don't you crack down on those type of things? And just go across the board and, and, and inform everybody, but let the people ultimately make the decision. I think they do it in a, it's an evil way of, of raising taxes. Because I guarantee you, 95, 99, 90, 95% of the pipe smokers, if they put a tax on pipe tobacco and it raised it 5 to $10 uh, for the product, you may cut back a little bit, I don't think you'd stop. But yet they're still going to reap the benefits from the tax money. How does that solve any uh, issue? Why do they reap the benefits? Why don't they tell me if I stop smoking, somehow I can get a tax break? We're not going to do that, though, are we? Anyway, just random thoughts. I'm on the fence, I'm not sure what's the right thing to do. I think you gotta do what's right for you and be smart about it. And probably the best thing to do is, you know, cut back. Monitor yourself, go for checkups. But you know, there is some risk worth reward. If it calms you down, it relaxes you. Isn't that a benefit? You have a stressful day at work, you come home, you have a beer or a cup of coffee and you light up a pipe and you sit back and relax. Isn't that helping you in a lot of respects, clear your mind, make you relax? Anyway, that's the way I feel about it. But I hope everybody's having a good day. It's a good start of a week. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.